Okay, well, welcome to uh, the Encompass Live online session for Wednesday, March 18th. Um, this is our weekly online event uh, that we use to highlight different uh, services and activities that are going on in the Nebraska library world. Um, we're happy today to have with us Terry Hartman, who is the head of education at McGugan Library of Medicine at the University of Nebraska Medical Center, talking about Go Local Nebraska. Nebraska and CHURS, um, both are services that uh, you can use to uh, help your patrons get access to good health information. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to Terry and let her share information Thank with you. you today. Thank you very hey, much. Hey, Terry. Uh, I first became aware of CHURS back in 1992. I came for a tour of the Magoon Library of Medicine, and that was the thing I, I came away with was, oh my gosh, this is such a wonderful program for the state. Um, I was able to come to McGugan Library of Medicine in 1999 and start working, and I've been promoting Cheers ever since. Uh, in 2006, I had a personal health crisis, and they were able to help me through Cheers. So now I've been on both sides of the fence with prom both promoting as well as a user of consumer health information, and I really wanted to share this great benefit to all Nebraskans uh, through this medium, and I appreciate the opportunity. Uh, health information is on everyone's mind. The Pew Internet and American Life Project has estimated that between 75 and 80 percent of all Internet users have searched for health information. And you all probably know that yourselves through personal experience. Most everybody is looking up something along the, uh, the means of health. The University of Nebraska Medical Center's McGugan Library recognized this trend in the early 80s. Uh, Cheers is actually 25 years old in 2010. Um, Thanks to the work that was done back in the early 80s when they partnered with the Nebraska Library Commission, uh, health information has been delivered to all Nebraskans for 24 years at no charge. Uh, the Consumer Health Information Resource Service, which is what CHEERS stands for, and understand it's information resource, which is really great, it's a resource for your library, also provides educational and consultational services to uh, non-health science librarians in the state, uh, enabling all librarians to better deliver first-line reference service to their communities. In 2006, the Go Local Nebraska was added to, as a service, which arranges and connects Nebraska contact information for health facilities, organizations, and providers to health topics at the National Medline Plus site. This directory allows anyone in the world to search for Nebraska Health Services. And we always say that, you know, anybody can search for a Nebraska Health Service. So if you have a patron that it possibly is an older family member or maybe a young family member new to the state, their, fam their family caregivers can actually look the information up no matter where they live and say, oh, mom just got diagnosed with diabetes. Where is a diabetes support uh, support group for her in Nebraska? And they're actually in California. The links uh, mentioned or shown in this presentation will be included in the Nebraska Library Commission's delicious account for your later reference. So don't worry about trying to write down the, the links uh, because some of them get pretty long. Uh, you will be able to get to them later. The Cheers and Go Local Nebraska are part of every Nebraska library's collection, just like the Rand McNally Atlas or the encyclopedia on your website. The network is created so that the McGugan Library of Medicine is the primary source of expert health information through our librarians here and the biomedical databases here, but the patrons can come either directly to their public library, their local library, um, it could be also a state college library, uh, or they can come directly to us. So this network would not exist without all the libraries across the state. And I know that you can say yes um, with your interactive tools. If you could let me know if you've ever done a cheers request from a Google library, either through for your for your patrons, for your library. Excellent, got one. We've done several 
uh, several hundred searches. So uh, we know that the benefit exists across the state, but the key is that it does work through the local libraries. Cheers fits into consumers' health planning uh, in this fashion. I've got a little uh, diagram here showing kind of a continuum. And if the person has just received a diagnosis or a new treatment plan, they have questions. They can contact um, Cheers directly or go to their public library and request a search. The information they receive back either by mail or by email is no fee. There's no fee involved. Um, they can look at the information, but then the key is they need to discuss that with their health professional. Only the health professionals can interpret the information and, and decide if that is appropriate for that person's care. Um, we do have occasional uh, contacts where somebody will call up and say, I have a cough. And I imagine public libraries also, you get um, calls up and saying, I've got, I've got an aching foot, what do I do? Um, really, librarians don't need to diagnose. A person really shouldn't want that. But they can come to the library or go through the cheers process after, uh, after they go to the health professional and get the actual diagnosis or receive a new treatment plan. And they can continue to use this service. Uh, possibly if you have somebody um, that comes up to your reference desk that has a chronic condition, uh, something like Marfan syndrome or diabetes, and they're coming up on their annual checkup. Maybe they want to know what the newest research is on their condition. And they can request a cheer search, and the information would be sent to them, and they'd be able to take it in with their visit. This is the newest research. Does any of it apply to uh, my condition or my treatment? Generally, this improves the relationship between the healthcare professional and the, pa the patient. It makes it a, a more informed and focused uh, episode for the patient to go through because we don't have much time to talk with the healthcare professional. The CHEERS information can include uh, the clinical trials or articles from research journals. Uh, we, we also print out or copy and email website information. We have, I believe, over 900 Cheers books that can be interlibrary loaned at no fee to your library. Uh, I believe that the commission reimburses that fee if you go through OCLC. And I do have a link to our book collection so you can take a look at it and search it. And then also the Go Local Nebraska directory listings. These include support groups, health facilities, health care providers, and organizations. So this is um, all useful information to whatever their topic is they're looking at. The information uh, is delivered at no fee to Nebraskans. I keep saying that because this is a unique service. As far as I know, we are the only place in the United States that does this. Uh, I'm, I'm willing to be disproved, but I haven't found another state that serves everybody in the state. We also serve anybody that was treated at the Nebraska Medical Center. So that actually gets us around the world. The Go Local Nebraska was added in 2006. Um, this is created by hand by expert librarians right here at McGugan Library, as well as some input from public librarians across the state. Uh, it is connected to topics in MedlinePlus.gov. Uh, the statewide directory includes information that's arranged by city, county, and subject. And I'm going to take you through uh, one search that we have for one of the towns that's on here because I understand Crawford Library is on here. So I wanted to show, how do I get to, and I apologize for the hesitation here. If I go to Medline Plus, hopefully you all are going to be able to see this. And stretch it out. And if I'm looking up information on diabetes in Medline Plus, 
We'll scroll down the page a little bit. Over on the right, there's the Go Local box. And I'm going to select Nebraska as the location right here and click Go. And the Go Local Nebraska comes up with services for diabetes. It's already in that area. Now I wish, oh, I really wish somebody could tell me what county Crawford is in. I apologize. You can go by counties. You can also go by the larger cities. I think it's in Dawes County. Ah, oh, thank you so much. And then uh, you can search for all of Nebraska. There's 1,672 resources in Nebraska that serve diabetes topics. I'm going to go back up the hill, head for Dawes, and it says there's 46 resources in Dawes County that deal with diabetes. The cool thing is we did link to all the libraries, so a person can go click on the library and say, where can I go for more information? And there's Crawford Public and Shadron Public, and the hours are here. They also have the location and map and directions. So a person that's new to the county or somebody that's traveling in, they'd be able to find the map and directions to uh, your facility. I'm going to click back. Other things that are here in this, the county, there's an Indian Health Services Clinic. The hospital is listed. I'm going to click on the hospital. And it says Shadron Community Hospital and Health Services. So that's the closest hospital that is in the area that's working it talks about diabetic education so a person would be able to contact them say okay where do I need to go the endocrinologist is also in Shadron Community Hospital there are home health services here is the Indian Health Services we go back twice and uh, there are counselors and therapists. There are three clinics. I'm going to click there. They'd be able to find out who would be able to work with them if they have a, a maybe they're thinking about moving to Dallas County and they have somebody in their family that's got diabetes. They want to make sure that their care is going to be covered. Um, this is one of the things that you could use Go Local Nebraska to actually talk to your economic development folks in your county to say thanks to libraries, which you are the key to your county, um, thanks to the library's work, this resource is available and people are able to see what our county has for healthcare um, services to the level your economic development folks, your, your mayor, um, the people that make the policy decisions, understand that this was created by libraries and that this is something useful to uh, 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 people that are considering moving in. Maybe all your real estate folks, you want to invite them in for a, uh, a bagels and coffee morning and show them that this exists. I know that I've moved several times across the United States. I have a, a child with a medical condition, and I always made sure that he was going to be served. Um, so th think about that when you're looking at this kind of resource. I'm going to go away from this window, I hope, and go back to the PowerPoint. One of the other things that we are supposed to do with the CHEERS, it's not just to serve um, the, all the Nebraskans with health care information, which is wonderful. Um, one of the other tenets of this project is that we serve educational support of non-health science librarians in Nebraska. Um, in recent years, we've covered the state with in-person classes on health reference interview techniques. Um, possibly you saw us at one of your annual meetings. Possibly we dropped in and, and delivered promotional items in your library. We did a canvassing of the state one time. I'm going to show you our travel log. If I can get back to it. Here it is. This is our travel log of the state. 
and it's available on the uh, consumer health page. I'm going to go there in a minute, and I'll show you how I got to it. But each one of these dots is a link. And we covered every one of these cities, libraries. Hopefully we saw you or we dropped off the bag at your county hall, city hall, because maybe your library was closed that day. But we have pictures of all the libraries, and we have our experience, if we saw you, um, what you were doing. And it's just, we came away with a huge respect of what the libraries are doing in Nebraska. I'm very honored to be a Nebraska librarian now. And uh, it was real special for me to go out and see the level of service each community does. And it's really great to be able to be your health information back room because your, con your um, community libraries are paying attention to so many topics in each city. Uh, if we can take care of the healthcare information area for you, that's a great mission for us to do. Let me see. I think we had, we did see Crawford. So here's the Crawford Library. We visited you in April of 2006. There's a home page of the library. I was the one that got to see that one. That was great. And we talk about um, the Cheers was already up and, and promoted. And then we went to the next visit. We had a great time traveling in the state. I would love to turn this into a big coffee table book and be able to show um, the state policymakers what kind of a service we have in the state of Nebraska. Our other promotional materials are the Year of Cheers. It's an emailed newsletter. Um, I say it's irregular. The goal is to have it monthly. Sometimes it's bi-monthly. I think once or twice it's been in three months. Um, but it's a one-page, easy to read, lightweight newsletter. And we do have the, the back issues saved off of the consumer health page. I'm going to go to the consumer health page and show you where these resources live. And we have a brand new consumer health page today. Looks really great. And maybe this one isn't live yet. It says the Development Center. Um, this is what it's going to look like. <laughs> I have, uh, I'm going to go to the Consumer Health. This is our library's homepage, Consumer Health. We're naturally, like all of y'all, are working on new versions of our web pages. So we've got two or three different versions. I apologize, it took you to the development one, but it looks it's looking really good. This is what we currently have. Here's a Cheers request form, but people can call. That includes you all. People, uh, libraries have faxed. They have called. Um, you can email, and the information is there. There's toll-free number, the brochures, the link to Go Local Nebraska directly, and then a couple of other resources. There is a Nebraska resource and referral system. You can search Medline Plus directly from this page, which is a great service. For librarians, this is the information for you all. Uh, the Cheers newsletters. And we go back, I think we've started our fifth year, fifth edition. We started in 2005. So I think this is the fifth edition that we've been working on now. Uh, so the, cur the current one is February 2009. Uh, they tend to get published the last of the month. And uh, information that, that are on them, I'm going to pull one up, see if it, see if it works out. I'm going to pull up January's and see if... I don't know if I can get to this site. If you, yeah, okay. Here's um, highlight health in your community. I'm talking about February being Wise Health Consumer Month. There are links on the left side going to Cheers, Go Local Nebraska. Usually, if there's something new, we'll put it over here. This is just a, another link to Go Local Nebraska. And then here's the Cheers book list. These are books that you can interlibrary loan for your community for free. Uh, again, you need to go through the OCLC process, and they get reimbursed. Um, the cost gets reimbursed from the Library Commission. 
I used to run the bulletin boards at a library. That was my very first job. So I always try and put in what's going to be coming up in the next month. I don't. I know that you all have very little space, so you may not be highlighting health every month, but hopefully we give you a little bit of information for it. And then this is the link to the calendar so you can find out more information. There's more contact information. It has our contact information, the Ask Us, our toll-free number. And um, it's best viewed online because it gets pretty small print, uh, but you can print it out. It's just one sheet. We know that you're busy. Uh, we try not uh, interfere with your day. Like I said, we respect the fact that you keep track of so many topics in your community. We just want to be the health information uh, backdoor for you. We also have a Go Local blog. Um, information is on there, and I do have a link to that as well. Going into the benefits of what Cheers has, um, it frees your patrons to concentrate on their health during the hard times. And remember that you too can use the Cheers. Uh, yes, you are an information expert, and I know that you can make Google Dance, but I can speak from hard personal experience that when it is your personal or a family health topic, we are sometimes too close to the subject. Just ask for search to be done so you can concentrate on the hard part of healing. Um, don't stay up all night Googling. My colleagues here did searches for me. Uh, like I said, they saved me from seeing how many people died with my kind of cancer. The bad stories, I was able to concentrate on the treatment when I went through it. And the support was amazing. Uh, after I got better, yes, I Google like a mad dog now. So I do look up my own information uh, occasionally. But when something comes up that's um, a stressful uh, treatment issue, I go right back to Cheer service. It's really, really good. Um, the fact that Cheer sends focused information, it improves the visits and experiences with healthcare professionals. Um, I know I've heard anecdotal reports from healthcare professionals here at UNMC where somebody will come in with a whole bunch of information they pulled off the internet. Uh, and I have been to that point where if they would have said stump water would have cured it, I would have been digging out a stump and pouring water in it. So it, sometimes the information you find on the internet is not real, not necessarily unbiased. And the librarians here look up the real stuff, the unbiased things. Uh, we have a collection, uh, millions of dollars uh, worth of collection that you cannot Google. So uh, for this, everybody in the state to have free access to that is amazing. Um, it's already been paid for. It's what we usually tell people when we exhibit. You've already paid for this service. It's time to use it. If we get too busy, we won't be going out and talking about it. But currently, we, we are still uh, promoting it. We really want people to take part in it. I have included a link uh, to request the cheer services. This is the consumer site. And then they can just, you can also just email us at the Ask Us site. Here's our toll free number. I used to be in the military and I knew that um, there were times I had questions that were, the world was too small. So I might not have gone to my local library with them. They, the cool thing about this service is they can't call us directly. But the, the better thing about it is this is a service that you offer your community. Um, the next time you have uh, community health fair, um, I think some folks have requested for uh, like a volunteer fire day. Uh, maybe there's going to be a volunteer fire department get together, a blood drive, uh, something at the nursing home. If you want to request our display, uh, give us an email, drop us a note. We can we can check it out. We have they're <laughs> set up right now for the next three weeks, but we have two displays, so we are able to mail it out to you. And there's a FedEx form, so you can just mail it back directly. There's no fee for you. And and then you'd be able to put your own library materials with it and say this is a service that our library offers the community. The links that we talked about, um, requesting a cheer search, going to the Cheers Consumer Health page. The second link, the book list. I'm going to go back to um, the Cheers page and show you where you can see the book list. Come on guys. I'm going to go to the library homepage and stretch it out. Click on Consumer Health. And under the Librarian section, there is a Consumer Health Collection link right here. Click on that. And what this does is get you into our Helix catalog. And there's 998 titles that are there. I can um, this pretty much just gives the whole link, but if I start over to look in the catalog and I go for advanced, no, I go for a simple keyword and type in cheers, this gives me the results also so that I, 
if I wanted to go in and say cheers diabetes um, for simple keyword there's 46 titles and the newest one is here guide to preventing and treating heart disease um, essential information for you and your family and I'm sure that they talk about diabetes in there there's also your first year with diabetes that came out in 2008 also so here's 998 titles that are in addition to your great collection so this is as if you did not have to pay for 998 books um, you, you can interlibrary loan them for your patrons uh, the same as you interlibrary loan other things uh, so please remember that this collection is available to you other people have used this collection to help develop their own collection uh, they've used the suggested titles that we uh, send out in the year cheers monthly issues to take a look at their own collection and say well this looks like a great book I think I'll go ahead and purchase it um, but realistically all of us are fight, uh, fighting budget issues right now so you might be able to say well I didn't have to purchase it but I have it anyway it's available to me uh, so it's you can check it out and I am tangled I want to stop the sharing and go back into the PowerPoint and I'm Huh. Wow. Everything closed down on me. Sorry, guys. Hmm. I still any, see the power. Are there any yeah. questions on text? Are there any questions from anybody? Um, I don't see any. This is Susan. I don't see any text chat questions, okay. but I do see your PowerPoint again. Okay. And if you have any, um, if you want to ask me any questions, Susan, because we talked a little earlier, and right. is there something about this that was unusual for you to find out? Um, I hadn't realized that it was something that patrons could do directly, so that's good to know that they can do their own, uh, I they can interact directly with you folks. So, Yeah, the, the really cool thing is that they can go through their local library, which is great. We, we love that part. And remember, this is, you know, 24 years old, so obviously we predate the computers uh, that folks have in their house. Uh, but if the, uh, if the patron wants to come to you directly, that's wonderful. If they want to do it on their own, that's okay too we they can they can contact us but we really we really stress the fact that it is a community service it is locally provided um, courtesy of your library uh, the other thing about your library's connection we if we would really really appreciate if every community librarian would look at their connect at their listing in go local like Crawford had 46 listings for um, for diabetes but if I go into let me go into Go Local and I'll show you. I think my problem is I've been closing down windows. Um, go into App Share. I'm going to go into the diabetes, but I'm going to start, I'm going to change the topic. Excuse me, I'm going to stretch this out. Here's all topics, all programs and services for Dawes County. Um, but if I type in Crawford, there's so many resources that we can get to from all over. Like we get lists from the state, um, the HHS. We get information from here. There are, um, it says 203 services in Crawford. If, if the Crawford could look at this, Crawford, uh, I apologize, this is Crawford, Nebraska. That's not the Crawford Library. <laughs> okay, yes. Um, the city is, do you know the city, Susan, the Crawford Public Library? It, it is Crawford. Oh, okay. This is city name, too. Okay. I know that there's a couple of uh, libraries that are named after neighboring places or completely different places, so I didn't want to, I didn't want to assume. Um, there are some here that say Shadron, so, you know, Lincoln, Hebron, uh, Omaha. That's not necessarily the ones, but if they could look through the Crawford, they could also contact us and have us email them a list of just their resources and update it and let us know what's changed. That local community eye is so valuable to a directory like this. We want this as useful as possible at all levels of the state. 
and the local library librarians would be very um, key to that process. We, I don't live in Crawford, so I can't tell if the, uh, the clinic just opened down the street or we have a new uh, chiropractor or there's a new support group for lymphoma. Um, so that would be really key if they could let us know. Uh, the value of this kind of directory hinges on that. We do get the, the statewide view. Uh, we do have directories that we go through and find the information. But the work that's done on this is to keep it um, up to date, to keep it relevant. And uh, we now have a much more higher respect for the Yellow Pages folks. Uh, because I can't imagine how they keep up with their information. I think Lexington was on also. Y yes. So if I go to Lexington and just go through the cities, you know, here's a library. Here's a grief support group. Um, here's the hospital information. I'm skipping the ones that serve Lexington, but they're not necessarily in Lexington. The National Alliance of Mental Health, uh, Mental Illness, we have that information because it's a national, uh, a national contact. So we make sure that that is linked across all counties, all cities. Plum Creek Care Center, maybe they've got a new service um, that's been added that we need to make sure we reflect here. Uh, maybe they've got a children's daycare there now. Uh, just let us know if there's something that changes in your community that we can update this to make it more relevant for your community citizens. And yes, we do know everybody has a lot of things to do, but this would be so much appreciated. And anything else? Uh, it's been an honor to work with this. Uh, as I said, it's been an honor to see the, the librarians firsthand, the libraries, to see the key place that they, they play in their communities across Nebraska and to know that this service is, is available. I tried to start it in Missouri. That's where I came from in 92 when I came for my tour. And Missouri said, no, it, it costs too much. Um, and I said, well, you know, I'm going to go where they have the right idea. And uh, it, was, it was really great that I came up here in 1999. Uh, I think I saved my own life because the information that I got from Cheers made a big difference in me coming back to work and being successful after my cancer treatment. Um, I've been on both sides of it, and I can recommend it as well as saying, you know, as a patient, this really changed um, my treatment plan, just the information that was given that I was able to discuss with my doctor. Uh, so it's a, a personal, it's a more personal story now for me than saying as a librarian, you know, to remind consumers that they do need to use the people that are expert searchers to look up their health information. Uh, when we were at a, a recent health care fair, somebody came up to me and I was telling about Cheers. They said, oh, I have a computer at home. And I said, well... I, I respect that, but I have hammer, nails, and a saw at home, but I don't necessarily build a chair. You know, I go to the people that are experts in this, and to let them know that this was paid for by state money, you've already paid for this, just add it to it. I'm not saying don't search your own information. Folks are going to do that anyway, but toss in an expert search once in a while uh, and see where that can help out. Uh, we have some great testimonials on the promotional items that we uh, send to you about people uh, having their lives changed with the information that was given to them. Um, and if you hear from any of your patrons, please share with us how it's made them, you know, made their health care path better. Uh, or, and if you have any testimonials about what this is like to be able to serve your patrons with this type of service, please let us know. We are planning the 25th anniversary next year, and we'd like to involve um, every one of the community librarians in the, in the celebration. So if you have any personal stories, let us know. Well, Terry, I really appreciate you uh, being a guest on Encompass Live. Um, I know this is probably the... Uh, the 
best information that I've gotten on SURS. Um, I knew about it, but I don't think I've heard a presentation on it. So I appreciate it, and I will definitely think about giving it a try myself sometime. Um, does anybody else have any questions for Terry? Um, nope, but you are getting applause, Terry. Oh, thank you all. Thank you very much. And I'm sorry we didn't have a large audience, but hopefully, um, since we'll have a recording, um, other people will uh, log in when it's uh, convenient for them, and they'll still get the benefits of the time you've spent with us. So, um, oh, it looks like, do you have a question, uh, Kathy? Nope. Okay. <laughs> And I gave everybody out there applause for your services that you do for Nebraskans. Thank you for all of your hard work. Well, thank you very much, Terry. Um, if nobody has any questions and you don't have anything you want to add, Terry, I guess we can sort of officially wrap it up. And um, hopefully people will get in touch with you um, as they do have questions. Excellent. And, yes, we're available. Let us know if you have any questions uh, and let us know if you have good stories. Take care, well, y'all. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.